Hello everyone, good day, good afternoon, good evening, however you're doing, I hope it's wonderful. We're on Sea Fight for Beginners Part 4, where we left off is 50,000 damage to the Admiral. So now we're going to have to find this Admiral, we're going to have to shoot the smaller ones to spawn it, and we will get crystals, flares, and really nice 25 keys. Let's go do that. Let's go the three map again because I do believe that's one of the maps that spawns in. Let's double check though. Admiral two, three, four, and five. Okay. So here, this ship is what you need to shoot to spawn the admiral. So pretty much sail around, try to shoot them. If you see it spawn on the map, then sail around, try to find it. Typically, if you spawn it, it should spawn near you. Let's go find more. And there it is, we spawned one. Now, 50,000, we basically just have to solo it. So as long as no one else shoots it, it should be free. We take three shots to kill it, and then we're going back down. Got the compass, some Ogway amulets, it's good. Okay, now I have 10, 25 keys, that'll be useful. Collect five glitters, that should be simple. I'm going to sail down to the one map since it's the closest. We got five glitters all next to me, so should be easy. Ammo, more pirate protection. What we got next? Five of those trickiers, and we got two captain's chests. Very nice, very nice. So I'm going to head up to five map because I just saw a freedom spawn, and I'm hitting okay hard. Uh, 145,000 flares, so I could probably try to get a few pearls off of the freedom, if I can find it. Let's go see if I can find it, and shoot some of these NPCs along the way. Oh, we spawned an admiral. May as well shoot that real quick. Got an extra little bit of rewards. Got some pearls, amulets, and more gold. Up to 15 million gold steadily climbing. We finished our quest, but I'd like to sail around a little bit longer and see if I can find this freedom.
Then we spawn another rat. They are easy to spawn, so I couldn't find the freedom, so let's just go back to a uh, safe haven. Although one just spawned on 3 1, so I could sail around here for a little bit, try to get to it early, follow it around, and see if anyone else starts to shoot it. And I'm gonna pick up these chests along the way because I have 24 keys now. I picked up one chest earlier, so it's just. There's a benevolence, pyro ammo, sailmaker, that's useful. So the sailmaker, if you get sunk, uh, you have to replace your sails, but if you have a sailmaker, you don't have to replace your sails. So let's go find that freedom, wherever it may be. Looks like we found it. Still got most of its HP. It's really good. So let's switch to flare ammo. And start shooting it. Hitting for 50,000. It's not bad day one. I do shoot kind of slow though. Take this chance. Go to my ship castle. Here are all your castles. These are not something you need to worry about until you have a lot of pearls. But uh, I believe you get your first one for free. You get your second one for free too? No, nope, 75,000 pearls. So I'm going to go for the cannon reload time. Buying one level gets is 15,000 pearls. I'm going to buy it and then activate it. Can't do that while shooting. So can I actually get it to level two? How much does that cost? 20,000, let's upgrade to level two. And then reload, 30,000 worth it um it's actually equipped already nice so if we go here go here 5.58 so it went down a little bit
Here's something I just thought of. Hailstorms. Plus 10% hit probability. So, let's check my damage real quick. It might go up if I use my hailstorms. I can get more of them from Mojo. About 52,000. Let's check the next one. 51,000. So, let's equip hailstorms. Good for 30 shots. 56,000. So, you do hit harder with hailstorms. Uh, I don't really see a difference on my main boat when I use hailstorms because my hit probability is already so high. But I am hitting about five to six thousand harder with these. So, all right, so we have about one million HP left. It should be dead here in a moment. Sunk. A couple more shots. And 978 crowns. That's perfect, actually. Now I can buy some skills. Let's sail over here. We're in three one straight to the left. So something I haven't mentioned yet are these right here. They're cracking meat. They can give you good rewards, but they also put you into a Q timer. Let's go ahead and pick one up. I'll show you if it works. So here's, you can get three iron harpoons, but activity was canceled. Let's actually log out before it teleports me in. It says activity canceled, but it's got the swirly thing. We're going to log out real quick and then log back in. Now the swirl is gone. So those can give various different rewards. So you can uh, pick them up if you see them. But it'll teleport you to a map where you will probably get sunk almost immediately. Alright, now for skills. Skill tree, I wanted to work on reload time. Uh, I could work on speed. The other one speed. So I'm going to work on reload time. So let's see how many I can buy. 10. And can I buy? Buy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, let's equip all of those. Now I can go into that one. Let's buy 1, 2, 3, 4. Actually, I may need 10, 10 skill points, so I can do that eventually. I'm at 9 now, so reload time will be at 10 once I get more crystals. I would, yeah, I can also buy crystals, but I'm not going to, because I can get them from the freedom event and uh, quests. So, slow and steady. Now we're here. Um, more captain's chests, more pearls. See what's up next. Three of those. 100 emergency repairs. That's really good. Uh, so, Azern, Azernos. Let's double check monsters. Azernos are in five only. Okay. Go back up to the five map real quick. So, something else I can do. I have a lot of gold. Let's buy, say... 50 hardwood beams to get a little more HP. Buy those. What else can I buy? I can buy, yep, just that stuff. I don't need those. I don't need those. This figurehead, I could buy one of those just because. And then the Voodoo Cannon Recipe. That's actually, I think the level one design. Buy that too. I think that's actually a better ship design. I also need to do more stuff and. We'll buy, see, 20 Voodoo Cannon Recipes. Buy those. Now, 
Let's go to ship overview. Switch designs. Uh, this, but I need more pearls. See what it gives me. So, not really much different. So, got that for now, but let's stick to the warship. So, what do we need? We need the monsters. There is one. But he doesn't shoot it. He's shooting it. Of course he is. We need to go find more sail away from him because he's just going to take all of ours. So they're shooting the island. I'm gonna stay away from them. Try to go find these monsters. There's one. And there's all three. And there's the last one. Back to Knives Mickey again. Also, if you see these uh, deep sea lurkers, don't shoot them immediately. Even if you want to, don't do it. They hit very hard. I'll do one test shot to show you how hard they hit. Fifty-one thousand. So yeah, don't shoot them. That's even with some damage prevention on my pet and my ship, so they would hit even harder. There's a coin from killing monsters. I killed like 10 of them or something. And here we are. 100 emergency repairs. Another pirate protection. This is wonderful. Pretty much as long as you don't shoot um, any players. I have 9 days of pirate protection, so it's really good. So that'll give me cabin boys. That's really useful. That'll lower my reload speed a lot. Here's my quest. World breakers, 100,000 pearls. Give me a pet. 25,000 burning ice. 48 days pirate protection. Ooh. Wow. Okay. So 10,000 damage to the NPC. It's pretty easy. Accept that. You can accept multiple quests at a time, by the way. This one. Uh, definitely want to do that. So we'll go to 5-1, shoot the destinies along the way, or in 5-1, shoot the monsters in 5-1. And if we find an NPC, we'll shoot the small ships to try and finish the test. Let's go. Also, in case anyone did not know, uh, I didn't zoom out all the way. That's my mistake. But this is how you zoom in and out this little bar right here. I'm actually going to zoom all the way out. I forgot I was not zoomed all the way out. That's a new mistake on my part. Here's our three monsters we have to defeat. So let's pick up this chest. We're on our third monster. Some other blessings, more ammo. Now we've got the monsters done. We need the destinies. There's one. Need one more after this one. And to spawn the admiral also. These Rosa Marias, if you need gold, shoot them. I think they give one and a half million gold. So 4.1 to 5.6. Yeah, and we got five coins of effort. Nice. I think we're at the point of enough coins of effort. I can explain that now. So we go to the star. So this is your monthly login bonus whenever you need to log in. There's that. There's the Hall of Fame for your ranking. Uh, rank 12 points 37 for the next one uh, but then here season progression your season achievements your achievements will tell you what you need to be doing to earn coins of effort and your season progression is right here we have 16 we're gonna get 5,000 pearls we actually get some wood pieces that's good and when we go through all of these we'll get a key of effort we can unlock everything up here which will be all of this stuff down here uh, the stuff up here is what we get the stuff down here will be semi-random and yeah and it's not always good to immediately claim it if you can get far into the season you should search up like for example go here go there do C5 season 12. Uh, 
go to Sea Fight Season 12 right there. And here we are. So May 1st to July 31st. It is currently July 1st at the time of recording this video. So we have one month to get as far as we can in the season. We can upgrade our 55s. So... Uh, but we need crystals to do it. They will allow us to hit harder, but we need to spend crystals. And then we need 2 to 1 ratio. So we'll need 2 uh, 55s, level 1, to make a level 2, I think. I think that's what we need. Might just be a 1 to 1 ratio, but I think it's a 2 to 1 ratio. Then we need more gold. But I want to save crystals for skills for now. If you want, you can upgrade them, hit even harder. But as long as you keep doing the quest line, you should be able to get plenty of better cannons. And that just hit hard. So something you may consider doing. Here's the chat window. I haven't said that before. The chat window is a little finicky to move. Uh, sometimes it's hard to move the top of it. Put it right down there. Let's move this over. Move this over here for now. Uh, global. You can see people talking if you want. Click down here, and you can type in there any one want to any guilds are recruiting. Then you can go up here, go to the guild search, and you can type in their name or their tag. And uh. Typically, they can copy and paste it. Most people who play Sea Fight are on TeamSpeak, TS3, TeamSpeak 3. So you can join their TeamSpeak uh, server uh, and get help from a guild. Now, I do recommend joining a guild pretty early on. My main guild is on my actual account is right here, PL Trademark, Pirates Latina. Probably eventually have this boat join that guild, but not for a while. There's our second air destiny. Let's shoot some of these. Should be able to get the Admiral off these three, hopefully. There's three of them right next to each other. Should be able to spawn it. Unfortunately not. Here's a fourth one, though. Maybe. Nope. Back to searching. I'm actually going to take a moment, finish repairing, and let my voodoo points repair up some so that uh, when you have 25% of your voodoo points, you actually move quicker. So once you have your level 1 voodoo priest, or you can cheat, pop some amulets. Uh, what do I need? I need 40,000. So a little bit more. There's the Admiral chest and shoot the admiral some chests only give you one key that's because there are ship does there is a ship gem from a certain design uh that you can also just get from bags booty bags it'll give you 10 percent more rewards and that basically turns that one key into two keys that was a lucky spawn all right which one first let's do this one cabin boys redeem that's good and this one, see what we get from the pet. Ten more world breakers. Uh, actually, is that Emily Davis? Let's find her. Where is she at? There she is. We actually have to go up here to turn in this last quest for the test. 100,000 pearls, that'll be good. World breakers and the pet. And 11 days. That just gave me 48 days. Where are my 48 days? Why does it say 11? It might be glitched. Time again. And Crimson Claw. 200 crystals. And 7 level 1 Commonwealth Cell Sword. That's really useful. That'll increase uh, hit probability along with give you more cannon slots. That quest. Now the Crimson Claw, I believe, is on map 6 1. Double check that. Just cuz. Crimson Claw, 6 through 10. The Tropical. That'll actually be the end. If you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you'd like to see. Uh, I'm recording all these videos in one day. 
so it may be a couple videos before I uh, do what you ask in the comments or what you'd like to know. If you comment, though, I should be able to reply to the comments. Uh, but if there's anything you'd like to see in the video, it might be a few days. But thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.